All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Fabular, Once Upon a Space Time. Or welcome back if you caught my previous beta quick look. I played this game a while back as a, uh, well, I guess the developers had reached out and asked, like, hey, can you cover can you cover our game? And I was like, heck yeah, sure, it looks awesome. And they have once again reached out and asked me to cover the 2.0 version of the, the beta demo as part of the Steam Autumn... Uh, festival, I guess. It's not really a sale. I'm used to covering sales. This whole festival business is weird, but I love it. So we're just going to dive right into this. Best way I can describe this game is kind of like one part jousting. Uh, it's jousting, but FTL. And it's kind of a neat concept. I've never seen anything in this exact vein. And I love the illustrations. Like, just these, these clouds. The... Oh gosh, I don't even remember what this thing is called. But all of the little designer elements look really nice. Looks like they've redone the talent tree a little bit. Maybe? Maybe not. Ooh, increases attack speed with melee weapons. That actually doesn't seem like a terrible idea. I'm just going to look at these for just a second. So we've got four bars of health. Oh. Huh. That's my max HP 52. Did it remember my talents from last time? It might have. Maybe it does. Chance for an energy orb to drop when you destroy an enemy's armor with melee attack. Ooh. Or, yeah, let's at least buy this. That seems kind of helpful. Heck, let's just go for 100%. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe that's a terrible mistake. But I'm just going to dive right in. Okay. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I present Pinia Olaim in. Just for an hour to think. Uh, wait, my... What, man? Is there something wrong with the connection? There's nothing wrong with the connection, young one. But I believe he's speaking rather specific dialect. I'll just load it into the translator quickly. And I usually keep it on due to, the, due to its rarity. Very well. I've been here since dawn. I'm quite surprised you didn't notice me. In fairness, I was lost in thought, pondering the stars and the infinite depths of the universe itself. That's better. Uh, better help with that, then. I say, that's a powerful-looking ship you've got there. I don't suppose you could do me a favor, good old chap? Oh, is something bothering you? Hey, fella, come here, bury your head in I can't even try. Why, yes, there's a ghastly fellow escorting, extorting me. He visits almost daily, demanding all manner of things. Recently, he started demanding sheep from our herds. I have no idea, no clue what he'll take next. But if this keeps up, I'll be ruined. Is there anything you can do? Of course. When will he be here next? Here he comes now. Thanks, White Mane. I got that one. Time to prepare battle functions. All right, it's time to do... I... I would love to learn how to mimic the... It's time to da 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 duel. I mean, I guess that's... I've heard worse. Oh, I'm in block mode. That's what's going on. I grew up with a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh for better and... Well, honestly, mostly better. It wasn't necessarily... Primo? It wasn't necessarily primo game gameplay. Anime. It was it was goof. And that was fine. Alright. There we go. Ooh. I didn't realize that would actually stun them. Well that's handy. Okay, took a little bit of damage there, but not too much. Okay, there's more dudes rolling in. Okay. Leapfrog. Okay. Super close. Almost bit it there. I'm very good. Ow. I'm very glad I got the thing that makes it so I get energy orbs when I destroy their armor. That means a lot more shooting on my end. And these guys try and lead their shots. 
It's fine by me. All right. So this does mean I'm going to be able to shoot a lot more often, which I appreciate. So we get some money, we get a repair kit, which I'm immediately going to consume, I think. Eh, probably. Morningstar, Battle Brew, and a token. Okay, I want to take a look at this. So we got a broadsword. Has okay reach. This has less reach, more knockback. So... Quick, three hit combo, strong finisher, heavy attack, powerful dual strike, perfect, 300% base damage. What's this got? Kind of the same setup, it's just more knockback, lower reach, and lower crit damage. So I think I might actually hold off on that one. I'm not sure if I really want or need that. Okay, now I got four fuel. I'm gonna go up. We might run out of fuel here. We'll see. Another empty sector, young one. Wait a minute, see that planetoid over there? There are three small ships behind it, presumably waiting to ambush and wary travelers. Open a channel, I want to talk to them. Channel open, little magic. Channel open, little majesty. We know you're there. I suggest you move on. I can guarantee you that the contents of our cargo are not worth your lives. They're powering weapons, young one. Looks like they intend to fight. Very well, to battle! Okay, definitely got a stronger handle on the combat in this game. I think the first time I played this, I just... Well, I mean, this is true of a lot of games. That especially if the combat is... Odd in some way. It's unique. It doesn't match other games. Uh, easiest example I could think of. are fine. Take some momentum in here. Ooh. Rammed him though. Shouldn't have done that. It's okay. There goes one armor. It's kind of okay. Hurts to lose it though. I should have used the Healy kit. I was like, ah, I can avoid taking damage here. No, what am I what am I doing? I'm a dingle hop. Bearded Axe has disorient. I like the idea of disorienting an enemy. So let's do that. Alright, let's leave. We got everything. And shoot. This this trip was a dead end. Well, let's hope we can find a shop or some fuel soon. Otherwise, this is going to go badly for me. Young Majesty, I'm picking up a distress call. The playback appears slowed, as if the sender is experiencing a different speed of time to us. I'm attempting to clear it up now. Play the message as soon as it's ready. Calling any ships in the area. This is Captain Bainbridge. My ship is trapped in a gravity well of a black hole. Our engines are damaged. We can position, but we cannot escape. We carry over 50 souls on board. Please help us. Calling any ships in the area this gap. We must render aid. I'm taking us to their location. I'm probably going to die. It is what it is. I've got this ship on our scanners, little one. The results of data analysis is incoherent. Design and materials of the ship indicator was built over a century ago, but the ship is pristine, as if it was only left dry dock yesterday. Perhaps if I dock with the ship and throttle up our engines, I can drag us both out. Young Majesty, be wary. I guess that ship is trapped not only in space, but slowed in time. If we get caught too, the entire kingdom could have faded long into dust before we freed. We only have one shot, then. Better get this right. The docking clamps... Oh... The docking clamps have been pushed to the limit, Captain. We're still in one piece, but barely. Armor integrity is down by 25%. We're clearing the time shear now. Not surprising. Hail the Captain. Thank you. We've been stuck here for days. How can we repay you? Captain, you should know you've been stuck in a time dilation for over a century. Head to the nearest stable. The farriers will make sure you get any help you need. What? A century? How can this be? It's a lot to take in. The star maps look so different now. Nevertheless, we're in your debt. Please take this small gift as thanks. Alright, cool. And I get a fuel, which we needed, and a token. I don't know, I only have so many voices I can just roll here. So, we'll just make do. And then run out of fuel. Have at these scoundrels. I'm not even gonna... Bandits? Who talks to bandits? I slay bandits. 
I got the axes this time. Oh, that looks fun. That looks very fun. Okay, I think this one's closer. I don't really want to get sandwiched in. Between two different groups. Is it just me or did I do a ton of damage to them? Dang. Well, it's fine. I'll just pop the repair kit after this. Okay, so what do we got? That... Another repair kit, which is cool. Another bearded axe, tokens, money, gotcha. Hopefully we got a shop nearby soon. Otherwise, I'm in a bad, bad way. I'll, I'm going to keep pushing this direction. Hopefully we get something. Aha! Welcome, traveler. My wares are the highest quality. You won't find better elsewhere. All made within the power of alchemy. The miracles shall happen right in front of you as your eyes should... Uh, right in front of your eyes should you buy from me. What will you say? Okay. Extra maximum energy slots. Extra melee damage. Oh, for starters. Bearded Axe. Yeah, same, same deal as the other one. Yeah, I'll just sell the heavy battle brew. Let's take a look. So, seven league boots. Increases max speed and thrust. Overloads engines to temporarily boost thrust. Oh. So the seven league bo boots, boogs, are actually incredible. Visited nodes no longer consume thun sunblast on the map. That's really good. The extra 20% melee damage would be nice. But I don't care too much. I like the extra energy node. Yeah, let's go for the seven league boots. And the sunblast. And barring, selling, everything else. We might even be able to come back to this guy though. That's that's the main thing. Oh, you know what? Let's sell it. let's sell the sword. Well, I like the idea of the sword. The bearded axe does more base damage. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's considerably more base damage. Base damage of 10 as opposed to base damage of 4. Go figure this thing was just shredding people. So I got 35. I want this. Can't have it. I don't really want the shock thumper. And Oh, I can put money into some of these things. I'm not necessarily sure. Oh, when these are these are a boolean, you can only get one. Let's see, extra slots in the cargo hold. So I could put put some money into just statistical benefits. I'll think about that. All right, so we've got some sunblast. We can go back around. But previously visited notes weren't supposed to cost me sunblast. Well, I will have to read that description again because either I'm wrong or it's not actually implemented yet, which would be sad because yeah, being able to backtrack Okay, it almost seems like charging for the perfect hit on the axes is good stuff, don't get me wrong, but I might be better off just hitting things. Because I can just spin. I really can just spin. It also feels like a lot of these combats are a little faster. I remember multiple waves of dudes previously. And this feels less punishing. Okay, well, we're on this path, I guess. Oh, it's this one again. So, rhyming dialects. Oh, 
dear, I think he's in some sort of rhyming dialect, Young Majesty. I'm afraid I'm of no help to you. I've never been good at rhyming rhythm. Perhaps you'll have better luck than I. Well, this will be interesting. I have to guess what he means. What'd you say again? Oi, oi! Would you Adam and Eve it? They're back! What do you want this time? Me brick and mortar? Can we rub me my... Rub me boat in it? I take it you're a builder then. No? Probably, believe it or not, I'm not here for your daughter. You're not? So you're one of them tea leaves who ran off with meat, bees, and honey. Someone stole your money when this happened. That's right, happened yesterday. They got a jump on me. Got me loading a lock they did. When I was on my way home for the old battle cruiser, they half inched me sausage and mash and scarpered. Got a good butcher's at them with my minces, though. Oh good, so can you give me a description of them and their ship? That's right, I can send you the specs of their ship. Excellent, we'll search for your thieves. We found a ship matching the description of the scanners, young one. We can catch them in moments. Seems to have found some friends since the incident, however. I'm reading several additional ships. Justice! Okay. There we go. Tons of damage. Okay. I just have to... Why did that not friendly fire his, his buddy? There we go. That's a good direct hit. And perfect. Let's see. Tons of fuel. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And more. I should maybe heal. M maybe. Well. There's a small ship here. Uh, yeah. There's a small ship nearby, young one. Of Marauder design. Out with some modifications. I recognize it. There's a warrant out on it. Wanted for smuggling. Send a hail. We should probably apprehend the pilot. What do you want, huh? In a rush. Very busy. Much to do. Are you aware there's a warrant after your arrest? I have to ask what's in your cargo hold. I did nothing. I bring only medicine and food. I sneak it past the marauders, yes, to the villages beyond. Marauders bribe officials. Put a warrant out for me. But they not catch me. I too sneaky. Wait, man, can you scan his cargo hold to find out what he's carrying? I'm afraid not, young one. There's some kind of shielding blocking me from doing so. Then we'll have to arrest him and inspect the cargo hold manually. Arrest? No arrest. You're all corrupt. I know God. Go with you. We must inspect your cargo. Power down and prepare, prepare for inspection. He's powering it. weapons, little majesty. Hope it wouldn't come to this, but I won't shy away from battle now. Judge Prince. Prince Dread. There we go. That's it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That works. Well, now I get to inspect his cargo hold personally. Let's see if it's medicine. And the answer is... Well, it certainly doesn't look like medicine. Oh, nope. I have no idea. All right, let's warp over here, which cost me nothing. Visit the vendor again. Okay, so I could increase my... I mean, I probably should. Oh!
Okay, inventory. No, upgrade. Here we go. So that 20% extra damage, I can't get yet. I, I'm going to need some more money. Well, I'll, I'll go for it. Not much of interest here, young majesty, although there's a small homestead nearby, only large enough for a single family. There have been a lot of conflicts since the incursion of the Void Lords, and this homestead is quite isolated. May be worth checking in on the inhabitants. You're right, and not many patrols pass this way. I'll send a hail and see if we get a response. Well, greetings, knight. Forgive me for being wary, but w what are you doing in this part of the kingdom? Hello, we were just passing by and noticed your home. It's quite far from the nearest garrison, so we thought we'd check in and make sure everything was okay. Oh, well, that's awfully kind of you, sir. But it's just me and my family here. We haven't been bothered for months. In fact, it's been a while since we saw a friendly face. Would you care to join us for our evening meal? Sure. A few hours later. Did you enjoy the meal, little one? It's good for you to get to know the subjects of the kingdom, and it's good for them to see you among them. It gives them hope and builds trust in the royalty. It was simple but satisfying in a comforting way. We should come back... Th this way someday and see how they're getting on. Okay. Well, we've got these guys. Let's just that them. I was gonna say make mincemeat of them. I guess there are people in there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, probably want to hit the repair after this one. It's kind of a fun cooldown system. That or a cooldown system? I don't know. I'm I'm getting into this. It's very unique. The contact damage leaves a little bit to be desired, but I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I am I am a klutz when it comes to stuff like this. Ooh. Okay. There we go. That's Dunsky. It's another guard buoy. There we go. I wonder if there are any use items that actually heal you at the cost of energy. Gosh, that'd be amazing. Probably busted as hell. Is that all of them? Okay. Here we go. Maybe the reason why I remember there being so many enemies in this game was because... Because I'd raised the wanted level. Oof. That was a bad hit. It's not actually the charge hit that I wanted to do. It's fine. Pop the aftermarket burners. It's really fun watching them trying to lead their hits. There we go. Alright. Yeah, it took a bad hit on that shot, but it's fine. It's fine. We're doing kind of fine. We're going into a boss fight kind of injured, but it is what it is. I was hoping I'd be able to get some armor back, but... Oh. Got some money. Okay, new inventory slot for equipping gadgets. Perfect. It was 20% extra damage, and we are here. Oh. Well, this is just a good feeling. Okay, I gotta look at this. Oh, consume it. How do I consume it?
Because I can remove it. But I don't see the ability to consume it. Unless I... Dang. Okay, we can make this. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna be injured going into a boss fight, but is what it is. Would you believe it? It's the king's youngest, isn't it? A kingdom has truly no hope left if you're the one supposed to be saving it. Old fool sent you to your doom like he did with the others. Oh, unfortunately for you, you can't choose your family. But I can choose who I serve. The Void Lords have far greater power than your feeble old man can imagine. But no matter, this is the end of your journey, child. You join the Void Lords and then turn the remainder of the Royal Army into lo lowly brigands and murderers. Why? Your army didn't need much turning. They recognized the Lost Cause when they saw one. Just needed to talk a little common sense into them to stand where... Uh, wait, into them to stand where the true power resides. On one hand, there's an old fool who needlessly sends them into peril. On the other hand, several Im seven immortal champions who once defeated the Elder Dragon and gained its immeasurable power. It's not really that hard to make, uh, that hard of a choice to make. What? It is if you have a conscience. Wielding great power is not everything. What matters is how you use it. Would, okay. Anyway, forgive your drivel about my father, but I won't forgive your treason. Arm yourself. Careful, little one. Lord Dax is a former banner lord of your father's and a seasoned warrior. Engaging him will be a menacing task and quite possibly the greatest challenge as of yet. Don't take this one lightly. It's not It's not too late to turn around and come back when you're more prepared. Well, if I do this, it doesn't send me back, yes? Okay, good. Because I literally do not have a choice. Just heal. Okay. I got two health bars to take this guy down. I don't think I can heal mid-combat. Okay. Okay. Plus side... I've got a turning radius. That can absolutely smoke this guy. There we go. The biggest, biggest fear is just a little bit of HP. him good. Shoot. Okay. Wild fear. That's a twofer. Is that a threefer? <laughs> yes! I am in deep trouble, but that's okay. So get another golden tome, we get that. Fully restores one of your lost armors. I'm gonna pop that immediately. Alright. 
Well, that's a bit of an exploit. But that's fine. I will take it. Alright, so it doesn't exist anymore, but we're back up to full health. I was wondering about that. I was a little worried that we were just going to lose it there. But, uh, that bug alone saves my butt. You defeated me. You're so young, but so skillful, powerful, even... Uh, powerful, even. Maybe there's no hope for the kingdom yet. Perhaps, or maybe there's hope for the kingdom yet. Perhaps I was wrong. No matter now. Go ahead and finish what you started. I deserve no mercy. Tell me, Lord Dax, where did the Void Lords take our son? I don't know. They promised me power beyond imag my imagining, and I believed them. I was so hopeless, so lost, and such a fool. One thing I know is they talked about some marauder warchief that was supposed to unite their clans in the No Man's Land and wreak havoc in the kingdom there. That's all I know, I swear. Not that your word counts, Dax, but this might be our only lead at the moment. We need to find this warchief. Get out of my way. I've had enough of you. On to the next realm, then. Alright, I'm gonna take my fuel with me. I... It's a little bit of a tragedy that this did not connect. That... That's the one problem I run into with mystery star lane kind of situations. It would be nice if you could almost predict. Uh, like, see, when you're connecting to one area, it would show you kind of a vague section, or if it was more clear that it was going to be a dead end. Because uh, I was going to be in trouble there. Anyway, let's talk business. Not that I have too much business. Alright, so I can get a token for 50. It's okay. Uh, I'll probably wait. It's super tempting to just put a bunch of points into... Hmm. Yeah. Mixed feelings on capacity. I don't know if I really need that. Realistically, the thing that I'd probably want the most is just raw power. Maximum HP makes a huge difference in games like these. Empty and quiet place, little majesty. Not a sound, not a blip on my sensors. Let's rest a bit and then journey on. Well, the emptiness of space may be unnerving for a weary unit like me. Oh. For a weary unit like me, it can be a blessing in disguise. Are you talking to me now? Concentrating on the void clears my s circuits so I can rewrite all processes to my inner core. Not sure I follow. I can feel the ohms resonate as bad surfaces are terminated one by one. White mane. Oh, excuse me, little one. It's just meditating. Sometimes it helps to stop processing data and just exist, you know? I can already feel that I can route power much more efficiently in my circuitry. Ready when you are. Okay. Hey, max battle, uh, max energy for a couple of battles. Cool. Trouble afoot, little majesty. Sensors have detected several armed vessels converging on our flight path. A party of marauders, probably scouting for the enemy. They're hailing us now. Batches through. I'm going to talk to them. What have we here? Traveler tr failed to pay us tribute when entering our territory. Do it now and prepare to face our wrath. Fighting time. I wonder if the, uh... The threat meter gets reset on a region-to-region -region basis. Ooh, welcome to Crystal Space. Okay, perfect. There we go. Is that all of it? Are we good? Wasn't worth it. That super wasn't worth it. not bother to get close to that one. I've effectively got infinite energy, so I can just kind of do whatever the heck. I gotta remember I can perfect block more often, but I can't do that while I'm charging. Oh, let's see, we don't need the Morning Star. So far, so good. I think we got a fuel there. Okay, so the alert level gets reset. I'm just going to head for the boss. Maybe. 
Okay, we could get armor back. I should probably actually consume one of these. I'm going to spend most of my money on Star Blast. Okay, Blind Fire Missile does a ton of damage. High energy cost, but... It's actually really good. How much damage is this supposed to do? 15. 200 physical. Projectile speed slow. Yeah, I tried the throwing axes, but I didn't really like it that much. This one might actually be better. Because the base damage is really high. Let's see, I was using a broadsword. There's also... Oh, but these have really bad base damage. This one has a very high... Well, do I go for the missile, or do I try the throwing axes? I tried throwing axes last time, so let's let's try the blind fire missile. Give this a shot. Okay, and I've got a ton of fuel now. So that means I can get around. Uh, in that case... We've entered a large debris field. Debris field. Looks like uh, it looks to be made up of material from hundreds of ships. That's a lot of ships. What happened here? Possible to say, but this region has been beset by conflict for centuries. These are likely the remains of many battles fought over many years. We could try to scavenge some resources from the remains, but the debris is densely packed. It'll be difficult to maneuver through it unscathed. Yeah, sure. Let's try it anyway. Okay. This could be a major mistake, but still. There's some movement in the distance, but it's vanished from my radar as soon as we arrived. All is empty and quiet now. Shall we move on? Yes. Heart of battles, better loot. Rotter's closing in fast, young majesty. They don't respond to my hails, and they don't look too friendly at all. Perhaps it would be best to activate battle functions as fast as possible fine with that. We're gonna keep going until we win or lose on this run, so this might end up being a bit of a long long video. Okay. Whoop! Shoot. want that energy. Thank you. That took a while to get. There we go. Oh! That missile has an incredibly large AoE. Or at least it's big enough to hit me. Okay, that's a problem. Why is it not big enough to hit them? Well. This is got dicey. Okay. You know how I said we're going to go until we die? That might end up being a lot closer than I thought. I wasn't ready for it to just 
flip. Well, that's rough. Damn! You go down in a hurry. <laughs> I knew better and I still did it. Oh, man. Is what it is. Is what it is. Let's go back to the throne room. I want to see how the meta progression works now. Because the royal... Oh, both of these can redeem tokens. So what's this do? So this is just basic stat bonuses. You get a 1% to speed, power, capacity. Okay, what about this? Start with more armor slots. Energy slots. Okay, I remember these. Armor gets repaired a small amount every time you travel to an unexplored node. I like that. An additional beacon of mat. And start with a grappling hook in your hold. Okay. I want to... Very quickly, I thought this was going to be a run that would last a little bit longer. I was wrong, and that's okay. But what I'm going to do before we go is I'm going to see if I can break this a bit. Okay, cool. It's not necessarily what I wanted to go for, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. I want to see what happens if I become obscene. So let's become absurd. What is what is peak fabular? Holy crap, these are pricey. So you only get up to a 5% bonus on these things. And they get pricey. So this this very clearly whoops, that's not. That's not an integer. So, the meta progression is barely anything. These are purely just bonus. Oh, per level. Never mind, that's actually maybe a little bit better than I thought. So, yeah, we heal a small amount, we get more energy slots, we get more armor slots, beacon mat, got it. Let's dive into another run real quick. I don't think I'm going to go very far, but I want to see how absurd I can become. I'm not going to do this for the actual release of this game. Uh, but I'm just, you know, I, I always wonder with a game like this, what is, what is peak character? So, the percent per level that we were looking at earlier, power, armor hit points per level. So, currently, we're getting 15% extra thrust and, oh boy. So if you want to just become Chunk Man, this is how you do it. Okay, that, you know what? I like that as a meta progression system. It's still a little bit maybe too strong. Maybe, maybe not. I guess it really doesn't make too much of a difference unless you actually have a particularly good run. Okay, I'm just ignoring a lot of dialogue. I just want to get to the boss and get some money. I have no money. RNG is not favoring this run. I think it's... I think they... Let's see. There we go. Whew. I, I feel like the game has realized that I have hacked it and is currently rebelling as hard as it possibly can. It's like, no! You should not! Okay, so we're just gonna go fight this guy again. Seems like it's the same boss. Hopefully they make it so that there are a bunch of different types of bosses that you can run into at the end here. Because I know the bandit leader boss is the one with the, uh... The tail. It, the flail tail. That's it. Okay. Ow. Man. I I think part of the reason why I'm taking so much damage is I'm supposed to utilize this blocking system a lot more. That I'm much more inclined. I'm much more inclined to try and dodge instead. I want to say Dark Souls has kind of ruined me on blocking and dodging. 
and that's going to be the story I tell. Okay. I definitely would like to try the throwing axes. Whoop. Oh, this is not helping me. I am in trouble. And they're just... Sp oh, boy. This is... Okay. So, no amount of statistical benefits can... Safeguard against getting spanked by a pair of knights on either side. They, ha they had the bad paddles. <laughs> I am not doing well. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just go into this. This will be fine. We'll be okay. I think part of it is I also let the enemies spawn a little bit too much. It doesn't seem like my regular attacks have the stun lock oomph that I'm necessarily looking for. Well, my shield's down for the entire fight, and I am in a bad, bad way. Well, it's fine. Holy shit! Yeah, I would have died a billion times over. I really did quite well the first time I ever fought that guy. Alright, I think this is actually a really good stopping point for this video. I, like I said earlier, and I've said many times in a lot of other videos, I'm kind of trying to save myself so that I don't burn out before the game even launches. Because I like all these little preview events, but it is definitely one of those where uh, I want to actually preserve my enthusiasm for when the game is in a more complete state. <laughs> that said, I will probably be back multiple times in the future. This is slated for release, some, for release sometime in 2021. Not entirely sure, so chances are we'll see it pop up in the next couple of festivals. Uh, and then maybe release sometime spring or even summer. Or who knows? I can't speak for the developers in this. But what I can say is thank you to them. Uh, thank you specifically to Spiritus Games. Might as well actually say the name. Uh, for sponsoring this video. As I really like this game. And <laughs> I, I really like it when roguelikes have a different take. And so there's definitely some familiar bits here. Uh, but it's a lot of new ideas too. And I like the fact that it's a combat system I've never done before, which means I'm constantly on my toes and getting wrecked. So, before we end this video, I would also like to say that if you if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, and you guys are interested in this game at all, uh, two things. One, go to the Steam page and actually add this to your wish list. Even if you don't intend on picking it up immediately, it tells Steam that people are actually interested in this game, and therefore Steam will actually then go and promote the game just automatically, putting it higher on the popular upcoming list, putting it higher on the festival rankings, and, you know, when the game eventually re releases, it'll also put it higher on the new releases list. And so, by wishlisting the game, it really helps the developers out. Beyond that as well, if you are interested in this uh, you can actually download the demo yourselves and play it, so this is not just a me thing. You can you can try everything that you've seen here yourself, and uh, I, it's actually pretty easy. It hacks up the stats if you want to play around a little bit like I did. And it's probably a good time to do that before you uh, totally just break the balance on the, the full release. And lastly, there's a Discord uh, that I will link in the description below, so if you want to get involved in the community further, actually share some feedback with the developers and so on and so forth, please go check that out because that will help them a lot as well. So as a reminder, links to both of those, all of those will be in the description below. And finally, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because I've got a whole bunch of rad new indie games that I'm checking out every day and I will be back for more Fabular repeatedly and many times in the future. So with all of that said, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.